morning or afternoon or night, wherever you are or whatever time it is. I woke up this morning at 5.30 to go to the grocery stores before they opened and it was an experience. Uh, we haven't been to the grocery store since for about a month. We just got everything we needed to not have to go for a long time but it's so weird I never thought that I would wake up and be scared to go grocery shopping because of everything that's happening and it's just strange times but the at home reading rush started today so I'm going to do the Reading Rush book tag. The first tag question is, how is my reading going while staying home? And I do online schooling. So the only thing that has changed for me is that I don't go to dance and I don't go to the library um, anymore. So about the same, like, Sometimes I'm in a reading mood, sometimes I'm not. The second question is, where have you been reading while at home? And my bed, probably. I mean, sometimes I will listen to audiobooks in my car or like walking, doing like laundry and stuff throughout the house. but mostly my bed. Question number three, what is the best book you have read so far during isolation? I was debating putting this in because technically I read it while when isolation was like just starting. Like I started it before isolation and ended it when I, it was told that we had to stay isolated. But I just like this book so much I had to add it. A Gamma Butter by Christine Riccio. As you can see by the tabs of this book, I really enjoyed it. Right in the middle, something happens, and if you know anything about this book, you know the big twist thing that I'm talking about, but I don't know how I was able to block myself away from figuring out the twist off of Twitter because I'm kind of behind, but I was shook. I was like, what just happened? You know what I mean? And I cannot wait to read more by her. The fourth question is, what is your feel good book? And my feel good book is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. It is just one of the books that got me to love reading so much and this 10th anniversary edition is my favorite copy that I own because I own five different copies of City of Bones. Oh, it's just so beautiful and there's there's like artwork within while you're reading it. The fifth question is read a book that you wish you could have right now. How are you going to read a book if you don't have the book, but you wish you had the book, but you can't read the book because you don't have it? I meant, what is a book? Not read a book. I am really in the, like, murder, thriller type of vibe. I really want to read Sadie by Courtney Summers. Everyone is raving about this book, and I want it so bad. Question number six, 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 author shout out. So I read this book during the reading rush this past summer and I loved it. And I love the author. She's dear to my heart. She was my sister's teacher at one point, like in middle school. And I went up to the school because it's 
not far from my house and I'm friends with a lot of people at that school and I got my book autographed by her and she's so lovely like I feel like we're, we're pals you know so like we're friends you know what I mean and we talk about dance and stuff a lot so I'm talking about wrong in all the right ways by Tiffany Brownlee book is so cute and it I read it so fast I like speed read this thing in a day and I pulled it all night or reading this because I just couldn't put it down it is a contemporary if you like the fosters you will love this book so basically uh, Emma is the main character and she gets a new foster brother named Dylan and love a sprouts i really enjoyed it and it was a nice like cleanse of my book palette during the reading rush during the summer so i hold it dear to my heart and i want to shout out tiffany brownlee yep. that's my girl i painted last summer during the reading rush a record and when she signed my book i gifted it to her and it was just a really special moment and I love her so much. The last question for this book tag is what am I reading during the stay at home reading rush? Let me tell you. The first book I pull, I don't know if I'm, what order I'm reading them. Not sure, but we'll find out. Um, I should have started reading already today, but with the whole grocery thing, and filming and editing this video, I'm just being, trying to get through it. So I don't think I'll be reading today. Today is Thursday. Um, but I will start tomorrow. I'll probably start at 12. The Longest Ride by Nicholas Sparks. I know um, I kind of DNF'd this, but I don't think it's because of the book. I think it's because I was in a reading slump at the time, which um, I finished the Vampire Diaries series and I kind of am in a reading slump because of the those terrible books. So, um, I think that's why I'm not reading today also. But hopefully, I might not start this since I read it when I was in a reading slump before and I DNF'd it so I don't want to like make my reading slump make me not like this book because I know so many people do like this book. Um, it's about a girl and a boy fall in love on a ranch. That's all I know about this and that's all I want to know going in. I'm reading this book for the prompt of some place I wish I could go because I love riding horses. Cowgirl at heart, you know? So my mom used to own horses. We rode all the time and I just love horses so much. They're beautiful. A book that makes you smile, so this is a contemporary and I'm pretty sure it'll make me smile at some point or another, it better or I am gonna be mad. And then the last prompt that I'm putting with this book is pick a book with a house on the cover. Now I'm bending it a little but this is a barn on the cover and the horses sleep in the barn so it's the horses and animals house it works i'm telling myself it does so that's the first book the second book that i plan on reading is seven by anthony bruno it's relatively small it's like 230 pages so it's relatively small and i hope um I can get through this quickly. I'm doing this for the prompt of read in the same room for the whole time you read the book, which will probably just be my bed. Um, but yeah, uh, this is my dad's book. It's about murder, crimes, police, um, and more murder. So I, that's what I'm here for. The uh, last one technically is not a prompt anymore because I went on Twitter when they first when Ariel first announced the stay-at-home reading rush and they had different prompts 
and this was an extra prompt, but I still kind of want to strive to do it. I'm going to try my hardest to read The Fifth Wave. Um, this is kind of a dense book. The prompt is read a book about a pandemic or plague or something of some kind. In this, um, there are five waves that the alien like throws on the planet. You, everyone knows about this book at this point. I'm off the wagon. Um, mixed reviews. I know a lot of people like the first book but don't like the rest of the series. So um, I don't know. I have it. Might as well read it. Well, I'm gonna try. I have the audiobook, so maybe that will help me out. It's a 500-ish page book. I'm going to try to read a book each day. That's the goal. The aliens put sickness as one of their plagues. It's a pandemic in this book, so I fit it in that part. But that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And I'm going to eat now. Toodles.